Yeah, you're right. Very chilling, stabbing incident. And it took place in broad daylight in a packed park on a public holiday in China. Four educators are from Iowa's Cornell College. They were wounded in this stabbing incident while visiting Beishan Park in Jilin City. That's in the northeast of the country. And in this social media video, let's bring it up for you. You could see the aftermath of this attack. You see three wounded people lying on the ground in Beishan Park in Jilin City. They are covered in blood. They are waiting for first responders. Now, one of the wounded is pressing his hand on the back of his waist. And the three depicted here, they are awake, they're conscious, and they're using their smartphones to reach out to others. We've also learned that the brother of one of the wounded Americans, uh, David Zabner, says that his brother is, quote, doing well, but the condition of the other three at this moment is unknown. Now, the president of Cornell College said that the foreign China is part of a partnership with a local university. And in a statement released to CNN, this is what Jonathan Brand said. Let's bring it up for you. He said this, quote, we have been in contact with all four instructors and are assisting them during this time, unquote. Now, Brand says that they were with a faculty member of the partner institution when the stabbing took place and also added there were no students taking part in this program. Now, according to an Iowa representative, Ashley Hinson, um, she took to social media to say that the four were, quote, brutally stabbed. I want to show you what she shared on the social platform X. She said this, quote, horrified that multiple Cornell College faculty members were brutally stabbed in China. My team has been in communication with Cornell College and will do everything in our power to bring these Iowans home safely. Join me in praying for their health and their safety. Now, the U.S. State Department says it is aware of reports of a stabbing incident and it is monitoring the situation. Now, in recent years, there have been quite a number of stabbings and mass stabbings in China, especially in schools. And compared to the West, China has low rates of violent crime, you know, with guns strictly controlled in China, guns out of reach for most people in China, knives have become the most common weapon used in a mass assault. And this incident, this stabbing incident in Jilin City also comes at a very delicate time for U.S.-China relations. These two countries, these two powers are seeking to strengthen person-to-person -person exchanges at a time of deep tension. You may recall Chinese leader Xi Jinping made that announcement to invite 50,000 young Americans to China in the next five years. According to the U.S. State Department, there are almost 300,000 Chinese students studying in America and only about 800 American students in China. And although, and I want to underscore, no American students were targeted in this stabbing incident in Beishan Park, this incident is casting a chill and it could discourage some young Americans from going to China. Back to you, John.